I'm so excited I don't know if I can breathe. You see in the lower left hand corner in black the time distance between Christ's birth and the Exodus. Okay? It's not 1440 years. It's 1437 years. These are the Bible's numbers. Okay? This is page 135 of the Ephesians 1 reparse doc. I haven't changed it. Not this page. The only page I've changed is 134. The BCAD problem is solved because there really are three years cut out. And I'm guessing that Dionysius, when he came up with our BCAD dates, noticed what he thought was an anomaly, kind of gave up and just chopped three years off Augustus' reign in order to make it align with the Bible. Okay, and that's why Paul's numbers do align with the Roman dates. Okay, because Christ had to be born three years earlier than originally scheduled. That's the reason why 54, see up here, Abraham becomes super mature 54 years prior to the end of the 2100. That's a credit of 54 years. At the same time, Christ has to be born three years earlier than originally scheduled. Okay. So that the time distance between the Exodus and his birth isn't 1440, but 1437. Okay, in other words, because David died at age 77, which the scholars don't know, and Dionysius didn't know either, he too was relying on Josephus. Because of that, there is an earlier deadline for Christ to be born that didn't apply until David died. Okay, it wouldn't have been an earlier deadline except that the temple didn't get constructed for an additional three years. See, the temple the temple started. I got to go back up to 134 here. The temple, see, the temple started was dedicated in 3156, but David died in 3143. Okay, so 3143 to 3156 is 13 years to dedication, but its construction began 10 years prior in 3146, right here, see? In order to balance to David's kingship and the temple creation, Solomon should have started building the temple, okay, um, right here in 3143. That would have aligned everything with the Lord's death when it should have happened. Okay, but Solomon waited an additional three years. So the Lord, in effect, has to be born three years earlier than originally scheduled in order to align with the temple dates. Okay, so there is a three year cutoff, a genuine three year shortening. Okay due to the fact that David had died at age 77 and there was a delay, it's really 3.5 year delay at the front, in starting up the temple. Okay, in starting temple construction. So that's how the 54 year credit had to become 57 years because of that delay. All right, this is really not 54, this is 53.5. I'll be able to find the exact months later so I can prove it better. But it's 3.5 here and 3.5 here. That's how 53.5 literally becomes 57 by the time the Lord is born. Okay, that's why Daniel 9 is using 57 instead of 54, but they still have to reconcile to 54 rounded. You know, you got 53.5 is rounded to 54. Okay, but the point is, is that the BC AD conversion that we use ends up balancing, except we're sort of calling the years by the wrong names. And you, you, it's not, you don't bump up all the prior BC years by three. You just stop. The Lord is born, you call that one AD. 
because there's really 1,437 years between his birth and the Exodus. But when Moses was writing, the Exodus, the difference between the flood and the Exodus is really 1050 years. Okay, so here's the flood, here's the um, Exodus. Okay, Moses is writing 40 years later. Okay, when he writes Psalm 90, he's writing 40 years later. So there, all those numbers are still accurate. In other words, the Exodus really occurred in what we call 1440 BC. But there aren't 1440 years between Christ's birth and the Exodus because Christ had to be born literally three years earlier. Okay? So you just have to cut it off and just say, Pshut, okay, 1 AD is this. And the anomaly is real. It's real. Because he had to be born three years earlier. In other words, the time, this is why people are having trouble with the numbers. The time distance between the Exodus and the flood is 10, 10 years. Moses is writing 40 years later, Psalm 90. He datelines it, so I know when he wrote it. He wrote it in 1400 B.C., what we call 1400 B.C. So when we say Christ is born in four, at the end of 4 B.C., that's it. That's the only way you can have a contiguous timeline, is you have to say he's born in 4 B.C., but the reason is different. The reason is that the Bible is showing that due to the temple, okay, starting three years after David dies, okay, the temple starts, it's dedicated 90 years after, but in 1 Kings 6, 1, it tells you that it started when David was 80, three years later, okay? Since the temple is starting three years later, but David had died three years earlier, Christ's birth date relative to David's death in order to have the same 40 year period of rule that David was allotted, then Christ has to be born three years prior to. Okay? So it really is an anomaly. There really is, as it were, three years cut out of time. The time is shortened. And for our purposes, because with the way we want to do our dates, we have to say, well, it's 1400 BC and, you know, all that kind of nonsense. Now what that ends up meaning is that for your AD dates, it's almost like, well, it's smartest just to call it 4 BC still, like we're used to doing, all right? But if you want to adjust it, and this is going to be relevant for our AD dates, when Paul says he's writing at Christ's age 56, that is the equivalent of our age 58 and 59, which is what we think, you know, when Paul wrote Ephesians. That is our equivalent of it because we got this three-year anomaly and it's a genuine anomaly. Um, I don't know if I'm making much sense. I'm so excited I can barely breathe. That explains why Paul's numbers align to the Roman AUC system. And the Roman AUC system also has a similar problem with three padded years in there. So, you know, all of our usage of time is either based on the Roman AUC or Dionysius which is a version of the Roman AUC. And it looks like Dionysius just flat cut out three years from Augustus because he didn't know what else to do, and he wanted to align it to Bible, which, as it turns out, isn't really a bad idea. You know, peace out. Yell at me in the comments.